Susan, we're in the Yamaha booth at the Winter Nam 2012, and we're looking at their new mixer that was just announced for this show, the O1V96i. I'm here with Blake Angelos of Yamaha, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so this is the new O1V96i. It's an upgrade to the O1V96VCM. Major upgrades on this guy. First of all, we now have built-in 16 I.O. via USB up to 24-bit 96 to the computer built-in. So a single USB cable like I have plugged in here allows me to send and receive 16 channels back and forth with just, you know, just the cable. You also have the card slot in the back that allows you to add up to eight more there via different types of formats, AES, EBU, and so on. And then we have um, a ADAT optical output as well that gives you eight additional channels. So theoretically, you could take it up to 32 channels on the small mixing surface here. Other than the thing is that all of the head amps here have been upgraded to a higher quality up to where our, you know, our things like the DM2000 um, are set. Um, it's black, we changed the color. And one of the coolest things about it is we've added a full complement of all the VCM effects. Before VCM was something that you would have to purchase to add these extra effects. Now we have all of them built in. So you have things in here like the uh, VCM compressor. There's also a tape, um, a master strip that's a uh, basically tape machine emulation. Are those VSTi effects? Or no, they, these are all built into the machine here. Oh, that's here. just a little interface Now, too. you can buy these VCM effects as well by, from Steinberg as separate VCM plugins, uh -huh. but these are the same exact plugins that are actually built into the machine here. Okay, so. and then how do you add the effects? Effects are built in, so but you're actually routing signal in, and then you're sending the signal um, to the channels that are either coming in from the DAW or live if you're using it as a live board. All the sends co show up here for each of the effects on Oxbus 1, 2, or 3, and 4. They can be routed obviously differently, but they come out of the box this way. So if I have, say, I'm on channel one here, and I want to, um, on the layer here, and I want to send reverb to channel one in the aux bus, I just se select the aux bus and pull it up. But I want to send another effect to channel one, and so on. The sends show up here, or the returns show up here on this guy. So the other thing is you notice these are motorized faders in here. The different layer modes here, one through 16 right now I have routed to one through 16 inputs. 17 through 32 are actually coming back from the DAW, which I have a little project right over here. It comes with Cubase AI6 in the box, which gives you 48 audio channels, 64 MIDI channels just out of the box in here. But so 17 through 32 are actually the physical audio inputs coming back from the machine. When I go to the remote mode, this is now a remote control service for Cubase. You notice that if I move any of these faders, it updates to whatever um, channel I have here. And then I have these user-defined keys set up as my, um, as my start, stop, fast forward, and I'll just play this. And you'll notice I have the remote mode set here. I've ran some automation on here, so once we get started, There's kind of just an example of the flying faders on the ONV 96i working here. So that mix would be, uh, what would be saved onto the uh, SD card, you're saying? Nope, it's oh, all saved in the controlling sequencer. Oh, okay. All of my, all of my, you see where it says R right here? This is reading back the automation that I wrote earlier. So if I pull this down in Cubase, make this a little bigger, if I can grab it. So I wanna not. There we go. Oh, I got it. Anyway, I will show you. Anyway, there's automation that's being that was written here, that um, you know plays back, and those things are all saved. And if you see when I move back, the, everything kind of updates to where I was. So, can you change the parameters of the the plugin from the surface? Uh, say like one of your the, yeah. The so how I would do it here is in the Studio Manager Editor, which I can open directly inside of Cubase, but I already have it set up in another space so you can see it. Here's where the editor is for that. So if I wanted to see, oops, sorry. If I wanted to see the master layer, which is already up right here, or there's a selected channel view right here. 
So these are all the things that are on a single channel. Four band fully parametric EQ, gate and compressor that I can turn on and off how I want it to be. Can you use some of that from here? I mean, I can use, yeah, everything's simultaneous and bi-directional. So if I select a channel across here, it selects up here as well. Okay. There's showing the... And that'll be recalled in the yep. mix to that exactly. automation, huh? So what is your editor, uh, your the editor for this do then? Is that just to create templates? The editor is to save um, all the scenes in here. Let's say Those that I, I can save the scenes. I can have a visual editor on the computer that's a little bigger than the screen here. It just allows me to kind of do my editing on the computer. And then it also saves within the Cubase file because I can pull it up in Cubase and when I recall a Cubase project, all the scenes that I've used, all the automation that I've used, is also saved inside the, the uh, Studio Manager Editor. Okay. So what other what templates, uh, other DAWs will it work with in? Oh, it works so with Cubase, obviously, which ships in the box. You also have Pro Tools, um, all of them. Logic, Logic, Sonar, Digital Performer. Okay. All the big ones, yeah. Oop, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Edit that. So. No that problem. Happen, so, um, all right. What, what will the uh, when will it be released? Do you think it's out now? It's out it's now. Shipping it's right now. Oh, yep. shipping now. And yep. it's, what's the street price? You think it's twenty three ninety five. Where are you guys from again? Uh, we're California. So California. California. Okay. Yeah, yeah. twenty three ninety five is about what the street is on. Twenty three so. ninety five. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Blake. Thanks a lot. Great. Yeah.